hey 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 folks welcome to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to make a green banana pie so to start off with I have four um, green bananas right so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut off the ends and put them in a pot to boil with a little bit of oil so here are my green bananas um, as, as you can see here I cut off the ends of them and in a pot of water and now I'm going to add a bit of oil this oil is to prevent um, the stain from sticking at the um, sides of the pot. Um, if you don't do that step, what's going to happen? The stain um, from the bananas is going to like leave the residue on the end of the pot, on the sides of the pot, and that's very difficult to clean. Um, with the oil, it helps to be able to remove the stain very, very easily. So I'm going to put this on the stove and let this cook, and I'll be back. So here are the green bananas on the stove. They're basically all cooked. As you can see here, the skin as boost open for some of them and I'll use a fork just to prise it to, to see if it go through easily and I know it's fully cooked so I'm going to take it off the stove allow it to cook and proceed to remove the skin so here are my green figs they're all cool now so what I'm going to do on base I'm just going to peel off the skin which is very easy I just use my hands to come off quite easily put that to the side I don't know, I find this method is so much easier. But my husband, he just prefer, prefer this other style, a Vinci style, and he would not allow me to, to um, he just doesn't like the green fig to be cooked this way. Bottom line. I'll leave a link in the right hand part of the screen where he demonstrates how they do it in St. Vincent, and other Caribbean island too as well. But in general, this, this is how we do it. We um, boil it with the skin on. Boil the green fig, green banana, with the skin on. I'm just going to take my knife and just kind of like graze off, gently graze off the um, excess pieces like this. I really have to because to me that's still good stuff. Like that. Green fig is so healthy. Just a boil. Let me eat them like that. It's packed a lot of iron. Very, very good. So guys, you guys heard about the um, the flooding in Trinidad. It is so like, you know, heartbreaking to watch those videos. So, so heartbreaking. And you know, that was like, I think, I did a video about that too as well. Um, that was, I think it was Monday. Monday, a lot of flooding and, oh man, it's so heartbreaking. And on top of all that, there was still some rain, I think on Monday and Tuesday. And I heard there was an um, earthquake, about two earthquakes. I heard the news about two days ago. And, but apparently the earthquake wasn't as bad as the one early in August. I wasn't sure not at that time, you know. So anyway, so let me continue with this. So now that I've done peeling the bananas, um, as you can see here, I, um, I cut it up into small pieces. I'm using my potato masher. And I'm just going to simply just mash it up like this. And to get it a little fine, I'm just going to use a fork and just press out the bigger chunks. So next, I'm going to season the um, the mashed green banana. I have here some finely chopped sweet pepper. If you have um, the seasoning peppers or pimentos, you could add that. That's about half. I have some mini um, sweet peppers. So I chopped up that. So that's about half of a regular sweet pepper. And this is um, some parsley that I chopped up here. And I have about half of an onion that I chopped up at the side here. So too as well. And about a tablespoon of butter. Just add all of that. Just season it up nicely, you know, to your taste. I'm going to add some black pepper. Now I'm going to add um, some, some um, complete seasoning. All right, maybe about half a teaspoon. 
Again, you can season it with your favorite seasoning, okay? I'm gonna put this amount and then taste to see how that tastes. Mix everything together. Now I'm going to add some milk. I use evaporated milk. So I'm going to transfer this to my. I'm basically done. I'll just give that a quick little taste to see if it's tasting good enough for me. I'm going to transfer it to my baking dish. Grease that. Transfer it to my baking dish. Grease baking dish and put it in the oven, which is set at 350 degrees. Oh, I forgot some, I forgot another ingredients, guys. I'll be back. Some cheese. I'll be right back. So now I'm going to just sprinkle some cheese to the top, final touch. So here's my green banana pie, fresh out of the oven. Um, I like to let, let it cool before I cut into it. I notice like when um, when I'm so excited to taste it and I cut it as soon as uh, it's out of the oven, it kind of like basically falls apart and it's kind of mushy, but it tastes good, but just presentation wise. So I like to let it cool first and I find when it's cool, it's, it's more firm. It's, it's, it's um, a little firmer when it's um, a little cooler. It doesn't fall apart like if it's when it's freshly hot. So I'll be back when um, it's a little cooler. Okay, folks, so here's my slice of the green banana pie. Right, this season is so, so good right now, guys. So, so good, cheesy, and flavorful. is really, really good. You must give us a try. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you get, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.